most memorable time playing at Trinity Catholic was scoring her first touchdown at the USF field and having her sister on the team. She would like to thank her parents and coaches for always motivating her to keep playing, especially her dad, for always trying to make the best efforts to come to every game. The best advice she ever received from her coaches was the game is not over until we say that it is over. The person at TC that's had the most influence on her is Coach Molner and Mrs. McLean because both of them have motivated her to always keep going and get better in whatever she likes to do. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss our center, Miss Isabel up. Aquino. <laughs> We welcome our flag running back and rusher. Are you ready? Guy All Moore. right. In time playing a Trinity Catholic for track was when she face planted and rolled through the finish line in the 100 hurdles. For football, when she got a touchdown her freshman year at the first game. She would like to thank her parents for always supporting her, driving her to countless meets and practices, and for pushing her to be her very best. 
the best advice she ever received from her coaches was, if you're not willing to put in the effort, don't expect anything in return. The person at TC that has the most influence on her is Coach Me, because he's pushed her to be her best. I forgot to shake hands. Four years. <laughs> Words of wisdom for the track team, if you ain't first, you're last. And the flag football, teamwork makes the dream work. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Skyler Moore. Linebacker and captain, Miss Alicia Shack. Yeah! Andrew, Kayla, and Ethan. Alicia's most memorable time playing at Trinity was winning in overtime against Bishop Moore. She would like to thank her parents for the unending support for all of her dreams and for raising her in faith. The best advice she ever received from her coaches is always try to be a better version of yourself. That that drive will always allow everything else to fall into place. The person at TC that's had the most influence on her was definitely, most definitely, Jella Serrano. For four years, she's been her best friend and her sister. Through all the late drives, practices, sleepovers, injuries, that they've had made some amazing Gotta shake hands with them. And a bond that, will, that not even graduation will be able to break. Words of wisdom for the team. Above all, trust God and the plans he has for you. Because the places you will go are unimaginable. But in the meantime, don't take a single practice or game for granted. One wrong step and it could all be over. Oh, that looks Ladies really good. Miss Alicia. Ready? Yeah. One more. And finally, we welcome our linebacker, cornerback, and you. receiver, Miss Jello Serrano. Yeah. 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 by her mom, dad, and brothers, and Jesse. Jello's most memorable time playing at Trinity was junior year, making it to districts and winning runner up with less than half of the team. She would like to thank her friends and family for always pushing her to be the best player and individual on and off the field. The best advice she ever received from her coaches you're good, you're good. is don't get, We're gonna get that. barbecued. The person at TC that's had the most influence on her is Alicia because she always made, motivated her to be better and encouraged and pushed her through hard times. She believed in her when she didn't even believe in herself. Words of wisdom for the team. Girls, always have your teams back and enjoy every little moment with each other because in a blink of an eye, you'll be walking across that stage receiving your diploma. Ladies and gentlemen, our final young lady, Miss Jello Serrano.